In this video, I'm going to tell you about my top 19 favorite restaurants on the Treasure Coast. These are either on the Treasure Coast or within a short drive to get to delicious food. So I came up with 19 places that I would close my eyes and tell you you can visit and you're gonna have a great meal no matter what. This says in no particular order, but in the at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you what my top five go-to places are, what my favorites are on this list. But anyway, number one is gonna be Pepper and Salt. Pepper and Salt is a barbecue joint in Vero Beach that I recently discovered. It's got a great reputation and I've been hearing good things about it. So we finally took a drive down there and it was really great. It's only like 30 minutes north of Port St. Lucie. It's a hole in the wall and you need to get there early because they run out of brisket real fast. Brisket is like the number one thing on their menu and their pork belly and their barbecue chicken. It was just, everything was very, very delicious that I had there. So number two is going to be Blackbird Modern Asian Cuisine in Jupiter. I love Blackbird. Every time I go there, they have a great happy hour. I think it's like from five to six or from four to six, something like that. You get 50% off really delicious cocktails and you have really great um, lower price appetizers or you can just go there at any time and have yourself the orange chicken. It is divine. I have had the super expensive $50 crab noodles and i tell you it, it that was super overrated so i wouldn't go for that but the orange chicken with a side of white rice was out of this world also their signature cocktail the blackbird it's a very very sweet drink but it is very strong and it was very very delicious it's more like a dessert drink but it was very delicious and they have a a whole bunch of great drinks on their happy hour menu one of my favorites being the old-fashioned old-fashioned seems to be the drink that i just always love almost anywhere i go number three on my list is going to be sake right here in tradition in port st lucie sake is you know if you've been to port st lucie there is like a church looking place in the center in the heart of tradition and in the corner there is a restaurant called sake their food is good. I've had their volcano chicken a million times. It's always good. But the thing that you have to try at Saki is their garlic duck. Their garlic duck is amazing every single time. I don't know how they get it exactly precisely the same. Every single time it's delicious. I highly recommend that you try the garlic duck at Saki. Number four, this is in no particular order, by the way. I was just, you know, writing down places that I love. Number four is going to be the sushi at Sushi Naya right here in Port St. Lucie. They are really, really good. My favorite rolls there are the Kani Soo. The Kani Soo is like a cucumber roll and it's stuffed with crab and it's got the, this vinegary dipping, sweet vinegary dipping sauce that is just really good. Try it at least once. I love it. It's a very refreshing roll because it's not wrapped in seaweed. It's wrapped in cucumber skin and it's so good. They also have the Playboy roll, which is my favorite roll at Sushinaya. It's delicious. And they have the Miami roll. The Miami roll is very, very good. That's just the name. I don't remember what it has inside, but I know that those three rolls are winners. And if you try any of them, you're going to love them. My number five here on this list is Benihana. Benihana, you know, if you've been to a Benihana, you've been to all of them. But I happen to really love and appreciate um, their lunch special because it's like $14 and you get the soup and the salad and the whole show and the whole production. And you get to sit and, you know, ocean front and not, like waterfront and have a beautiful view and a really good consistent lunch for like not a lot of money i love the lunch specials at benihana but you have to make sure you get there before three o'clock because that's when they shut it down and they turn it into the dinner prices which is like double or more than double number six i think is going to be the cheeseburger at tablo pub Taplo Pub is located inside of PGA Village, right here in Port St. Lucie. That is a little pub that they have for the golfers that go play golf at PGA Village. They all come there and they have lunch, but anyone can get in there. You just drive up to Taplo Pub and order the cheeseburger with a sweet potato fries. It's very, very good. 
I have had it several times and one time it was a little bit overcooked so I would say don't ask for it well done because it's you know they tend to really like overcook it but on a good day it is out of this world amazing this next one is gonna be number one two three four five six seven number seven oh my god I just discovered this place this weekend and I've been hearing about it for so long and I finally went there and it was out of this world it's Lenora's in Jupiter Lenora's exceeded my expectations by a long shot I went on the happy hour menu it was our anniversary and uh, it was just early so it, we happened to be there during happy hour and it was such a good happy hour they have a cocktail called the Lenora which is a very refreshing kind of Aperol spritz but not with the Aperol which a lot of people don't like Aperol because it's a little bit bitter they use like a strawberry liqueur instead of Aperol and I got to tell you that drink was out of this world my husband had an espresso martini and his martini was super strong and really delicious I had the bolognese don't change anything just order the bolognese with the pasta it comes with it is out of this world out of this world their bread was delicious you have to ask for it they don't charge you for it but you do have to ask for it and they bring you a basket of like sourdough rustic bread with the most incredible dipping sauce anyway everything in lenora's was good their their margarita pizza was good my husband had that and then we had we ran into some friends that were having some of the other dishes that looked amazing i we also had the fried risotto balls stuffed with cheese that was very very good okay number eight on my list is i love this place we've been there like a million times calaveras in jupiter calaveras is mexican and it's next to the tiger woods restaurant it's really not that pricey i think that the margaritas are a bit pricey um just under like i don't know like 16 dollars for for a margarita and it's not that big but it's delicious I had the margarita. I always order the red margarita. It's called the Sangre de Cristo, which means the blood of Christ. That's the name of the margarita, which is weird, I know, but it's delicious. And I always order the table side guacamole. It is the best guacamole you'll ever have in your life with, you know, with chips and whatnot. And then I always order the flautas, which are, I don't know, like flour tortillas stuffed with chicken and deep fried and then smothered in a bunch of different sauces it's delicious number nine on my list is gonna be pie hole pie hole is on hutchinson island their chicken wings are amazing grab some chicken wings and some beer and you're on the island which is super nice the wings at pie hole are you know you should try them sometime their pizzas are very good too and they're salads and I, we've had just about everything because one time we stayed on Hutchinson Island for a few months and we ate there quite a lot but pie hole on Hutchinson Island is delicious number whatever this is I think this is number 10 Kyle G's there's a lot of different Kyle G's restaurants in Port St. Lucie the one in St. Lucie West used to be great but it is not great anymore you comment down below what you think about that place I used to think the world of it they had a great happy hour but they changed the drinks now the drinks are disgusting and honestly the only thing worth having on that menu from in my opinion is the ribs other than that everything has just like really been disappointing lately so I would take the other Kyle G's off the list but the Kyle G's on the beach which is called kyle g's prime seafood go there sit on the beachfront and order yourself a lobster bisque if that's the last thing you ever have try the lobster bisque it is so good and so creamy and just so smooth it's really really great and then everything else is good i one cocktail that i really like on their happy hour is the painkiller that was a really nice cocktail and the airline chicken is not a cocktail, but it was a really good dish to order at Kyle G's. You know, have what you want. I've had the Branzino there. Oh no, I had the Branzino at Oka Number, which is my next place. Oka Number is coming in at number 11. Love Oka Number. That's a, another Kyle G's restaurant. Super high quality. If you want to splurge on a tomahawk steak, they're like $150 and then it's a la carte. You have to order sides, but it is really truly delicious they give you different salts to dredge the steak in and different sauces and it's very very expensive but they do have normal dishes they do have the branzino which is like some kind of fish and it's 
delicious. And my favorite thing at Okanamber is gonna be the smoky old fashioned, which is, they make it the best. Like there's no old fashioned I've ever had that is better than the old fashioned at um, Okanamber. It's really delicious. And if you show up early, they have a happy hour where I think you can get two drinks for the price of one or 50% off. I don't remember. It's been a while. But if you're going to go to Okanember and you want a nice appetizer, try the arepas. They have crispy pork belly on top and like a green tomatillo sauce. Very delicious. So I would just be happy with like an order of the arepas with pork belly and an and an old-fashioned that would be like a great dinner for me very delicious i think oka number is a super high quality restaurant probably the best of all the kyle g's restaurants to be honest comment down below if you try if you've tried another kyle g's restaurant that you like even better than oka number i would be curious to know number 12 i think on my list is a place in hope sound called ethan's schnitzel house uh, this place is delicious it's german food but it's like it's like super high quality super consistent super delicious their schnitzel is out of this world so a schnitzel is you know a piece of chicken breast that they pound super super thin and they bread it and they serve it like with delicious mushroom cream sauce and they serve it over spetzel which i think i'm saying that right spetzel oh, they're like little just like little dumplings that they fry in butter with a side of red cabbage it's just delicious just go try ethan's trust me um my husband had the goulash and i had i tried some it was it was really really good and then we've had the roulades and it's, we've had a whole bunch of different things at ethan's but ethan's is going to be one of my top 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 places at the end you'll see all right there is a place in if you're looking for a lunch place I don't know about dinner. I don't even know if they're open for dinner. But if you're looking for a really delicious lunch place and you're in St. Lucie West or you're in Tradition, it's a five-minute drive from Tradition, try Spiro's in St. Lucie West. Spiro's has the best Greek salad by far. Greek salad with grilled chicken on the side or grilled chicken on top or whatever. It's very, very good. Um, they're very consistent. They, they make a pink salad dressing that is is it's just you have to try it it's really good that's spiros taverna i think i'm saying it right spiros anyway spiros in st lucie west there's only one another great place in st lucie west it's is the red crab i know that they're a fat like a chain restaurant red crab you show up to the restaurant and you order like clams and mussels and shrimp and la um crab legs or whatever and they and then they ask you what sauces you want so they'll put it all like in a plastic bag and it gets all steamy and puffy and they'll mix it with the sauces and it's like a really good presentation they come and drop it on your table and you go to town red crab is delicious it's like 20 to 30 dollars per person but i think it's just it's a really good meal and then you have in there like roasted potatoes and not roasted but like boiled potatoes and boiled corn and it tastes it's just very very good i like that place really good place that is consistent and delicious is right in tradition pastiao i recommend my clients when you guys come from new york i recommend going to pastiao because you're gonna eat delicious food and you're gonna get to watch the vibe in tradition you get to watch people walk around the square and you know see the shops and see kind of like everything that's going on there pastiao has a dish called the rigatoni bossiola it's like 18 dollars, and i tell you it is divine it's rigatoni with pancetta and peas and in a delicious ala vodka sauce divine i have i had i have had many times the spaghetti with clams they make a great spaghetti with clams and their meatballs are out of this world great i don't know their secret recipe they're just so tender and so delicious very good meatballs and they have a, a salad called the misto salad which is very very tasty it's got like candied pecans and goat cheese and arugula and pears and it's super good highly recommend if you're in town for maybe one or two days to try pastiao if you like italian food but if you like italian food 
I think Lenora's is a better Italian restaurant than Pasiao, but don't tell them I said that because I love Pasiao also. Another great place that I have on my list is Fernando's. Fernando's is this Brazilian or Portuguese chef that has had this restaurant for a very long time and he opened a second one in tradition. But go to the original, go to Fernando's and order pretty much anything. I have had the cognac chicken. I've had everything there. They have a dish. It's about $50. It's really expensive, but it's a seafood pasta when i tell you it is worth every penny like every single penny it's so delicious it's a spicy linguine and then it's just covered in seafood like pieces of fish and shrimp and lobster claws and it. it's just divine 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 fernando's is a super good super consistent place another place on my list is collab kitchen collab kitchen is located in stewart they have the banging grilled cheese and they have a delicious brisket sandwich i've also had their roast chicken which is out of this world another place if you like indian food in stewart try bali twist bali twist is the people there are like forget it even if their food was horrible i think i would go there just for the people they're so nice and they remember everybody that comes back they treat you like a celebrity but forget it the food is amazing they make the best tandoori chicken i have ever had and they make really good like butter chicken and chicken tikka masala and the best my favorite favorite um curry that they make is called chicken mati mali i'm gonna write it here for you guys so you can order it say hi to the guy I, you know he's not gonna know who i am but anyway um they're super nice and the food is delicious there's also a dessert there that i have all the time gulab it's um the, these cheese balls cheese balls and they're dipped in a rose syrup it's very sweet and they're very 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 hot balls but they're very delicious and then last on my list is going to be a lunch place and this is located in jupiter so how many times are you going to find yourself in jupiter during lunch i don't know but if you do you have to try noble thai because their pad thai is out of this world and it comes with a little spring rolls and it comes with delicious soup that I like to call surprise soup because you never know what you're gonna get. It's always different, but it is always delicious. Okay, so I'm done with my list and now I'm gonna give you from this list, if I was going on a date this weekend, which we do every weekend, where I would go. Okay, so Blackbird would have to be high on the list. Saki's garlic duck would be high on the list. Calaveras would be super high on the list lenora's and jupiter would be super high on the list and i think i'm going to give the last spot to ethan's schnitzel house everything else is very 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 good but i'm going to give that last spot to ethan's schnitzel house but if you i mean if you're here for a vibe and you're here for a beautiful dinner and you're celebrating something you have to go to kyle g's kyle g's prime seafood and steaks on the beach in Jensen Beach. It's a beautiful location and the food is amazing. So that's kind of going to be the most all around beautiful experience if you're coming to our beautiful Treasure Coast, Port St. Lucie area. So that's it. Let me know in the comment section down below. This was a long video, but I wanted to give you all of this information because when you come to Florida to visit, you always want to know where the delicious food spots are. There's a lot more really great restaurants, but these are just 19 of my favorites that I have been loving for a long time and that I think are worth mentioning and worth visiting. I am Sincere Gonzalez and I'm a realtor. I sell real estate. I focus and specialize on new construction, but I can help you find a used home or it can help you find, you know, set up a tour to tour brand new construction homes. We have beautiful homes starting in the mid 400s. And I'm talking about the home, including the land, including upgrades, including everything. So from 450 and up, you can find some really great options check out our beautiful area come spend some time here see our beaches i'm gonna make another video of, about places to hang out but for now this is it thank you for watching and please comment down below i would love to know what your favorite places are and we can start a little conversation and you guys can give all of my new yorker clients and my massachusetts clients and all of my people from up north some ideas on where to go eat when they're in our area and let me know if you agree with my list of 19 places i think that these places are amazing they're not paying me to say any of this but you know like i'm really into food <laughs> thanks for watching Ching.